podcast, a podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. I'm going to continue my series of episodes on art apps for the iPad. This is part one, drawing and painting apps. For the first episode, I feature Sketchbook Pro. For this episode, I'm going to feature Drawing Pad. Drawing Pad is a very nice application. I guess you can say this is an application for all ages, and you'll see why in a moment. Let me go ahead and pull it up. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and pull the drawer out. You can actually pull it in and out at your convenience. Right away, you can tell the graphic design is completely different than Sketchbook Pro. Sketchbook Pro appeals to the intermediate and advanced artists. You're not intimidated by the architectural details of the tools and the way everything is laid out. Here, if you're a novice, if you're uncomfortable drawing and you feel like you don't want to be uh, hindered or limited by your lack of skills or what have you, this one's pretty accessible. The tools are so realistic that it was almost as if they were photographed and then placed in this little virtual drawer as buttons. And it's easy for a kid to understand for obvious reasons. If you see a brush, you know it's going to paint like a brush. If you select the color pencil, it's going to draw like a color pencil and so forth. So let me just go through and highlight all the tools so you can see how this application works. Let's click on the brush. You can take your finger, you can scroll through all of the different colors that are available. Let's go ahead and select this green. And it would also mirror the size of the brush as well. So you go through and you, you pick the smaller brush, it will also mirror the size of that brush. Color pencil tool, same thing. You can scroll through all the colors that are available. You can choose one. In this case, I'm going to choose a blue pencil. And as you can see, the lines are a little thinner, has a slightly different texture. Let's choose a crayon. Now we know that a crayon is very different than a color pencil, and of course, kids will be able to understand it, or at least develop a better understanding of it. You notice it has a very similar texture as the color pencil, but it's a lot thicker. It even feels different when you're drawing on the surface. Okay, the marker tool. Kids love markers. They identify the markings right away. It will be easy for a kid to understand, but also will be comfortable for an adult as well. It's a lot more fluid than the other media. So you really get a sense that each tool has its own distinct mark. And then there's the erase tool. There are four different types of erasers. You have a, a thin eraser reminiscent of the kind of eraser that would be on a pencil. And then the type of eraser that you attach to a pencil tends to be a bit larger. And then the standalone eraser, which gives you a broader range of area to erase. And then there's the icon up above which basically allows you to erase everything, which is what we're going to do. And continue down, there's now chalk that is available. Again, young audiences are very familiar with chalk, so it won't be like you're introducing some new tool that's unfamiliar to them. You can choose a green chalkboard or a black chalkboard. Just begin drawing whatever you want. You can even do a little math problem if you want. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun. You, you can imagine that kids would have a great time with this, but then again, so will adults. What's also nice too is that you can change backgrounds that have tons of different options. I'm going to scroll through some of them just so you can see all the different options that you have at your disposal. Pretty cool. It just makes using this application a whole lot of fun. Let me just go ahead and just uh, erase these numbers for a second. So you have cool backgrounds. You also have these little markers where you can create really cool patterns that you just draw out on the surface like these stars that come in different colors or the, the circles or bubbles. Kids will love that stuff. My favorite part are the stickers. It, it comes with a range of stickers and as you know kids absolutely love them. And there are quite a number of them. You have smiley faces, snowflakes, all kinds of stuff. Animals, insects, they look really cool, almost 3D. And you can move them around, you can enlarge them with your finger, you can overlap them. You'll notice that there's a toolbar appears above them. You can choose to lock it in place, that way you can't move it anymore. You can also choose to bring it forward or backwards. So right now this bug is behind the butterfly, I want to bring it forward. Take it back, bring it forward, take it back. You get the idea. You can also 
flip back and forth if you want to do that. Although this one's pretty symmetrical, you can't really tell. And what's really cool is that you can erase any one of these and treat it as if it's a flat background or a flat surface or a color. For example, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the eraser tool and I'm going to try and erase one of these. You see, I have the eraser tool selected, but I can't erase those things. Even if I lock it in place, I still can't erase it. See, I, I can't erase them. Why? Because they're still treated like three-dimensional objects that are separate and apart from the background and any other markings that I create. Now, if I erase the stars, you notice I can erase the stars, but I can't erase the bugs. However, if you select the stamp tool, you notice the little effect there that appears, it just kind of flattens it out. Now I can go in and take the eraser and I can just erase the legs right off if I want. Or the whole back. It's pretty cool. I like the flexibility of being able to do that. And you have the option to save to your album or to your photo library. You can email them or print them. It's really cool. I love this application. I'm going to go back to the menu here. And if you want to figure out how to use it, although I pretty much explained everything, you can go here. You can also purchase more applications from the company as well. You can go to settings and adjust. You can hide the bookshelf or show the bookshelf. You can, okay, let's go to bookshelf. Now, what do you have here? Well, they have coloring books for sale. I actually purchased one. I'm going to take you to the store so you can see some more. They have a wide range of coloring books to choose from, and they go on your bookshelf. Combining this application is a lot of fun, and if you're a young kid or an adult who feels a little intimidated by drawing apps, this is a fun application where you can do a lot of fun things. It's very easy to use. And this is Drawing Pad. For the next episode, I'm going to feature another application that has a lot of really cool features. You're going to really love it. It's called Sketch Club. Until then, I'll see you next time.